Welcome back to MoonProfessional.com. So this is part two going over mobility for the golf swing. So last video I went over the mobility into internal rotation for the backswing leg. In my, in my case, I'm a right-handed golfer, or you know, not really a golfer, but I'm trying to golf. So my swing would be right-handed, and I'd be going into my right leg on my backswing. All right, today we're going to look at the downswing leg and internal rotation with that. So that's going to be more from the follow through. So as I would come through, I would want to be able to finish keeping this foot starting at maybe an angle out, but not really moving it further out as I go through the swing. So in order to be able to do that, again, I need internal rotation in this front hip. All right, so with, uh, under a fixed leg, if I move my pelvis forward and finish on this back toe and basically get lined up right here, that's going to be internal rotation here. So I feel very blocked up through that, so I want to free that up. The other thing that can happen is if this movement gets very blocked up, there's going to be all types of compensation. You can sway through, but you also may get just a sense of you're just trying, you don't have a, a good foundation because you just don't feel like you can move. So you'll move your foot out, or there's going to be too much motion from your lower back. And I could feel already, just by kind of testing the waters here, if my hip doesn't move, now my knee is going to take extra torque because that's going to try to rotate more than it can, which is, you know, if you're going up with a much more powerful swing, that can cause problems down into the area of the meniscus. All right, so we'll take the band again, start on this lead leg, or my downswing leg. I'm going to get the band wrapped around twice. I always find that to be important to get a double wrap on there because I want it to be compressed 360 degrees around. All right, as if my, my hands were just encasing the joint, and I want to make sure it's on the groin. All right, so then I'm going to walk away from the bar, from the post, so that it feels like the femur is being pulled away from the socket a little bit. And then we're going to go just through the swing, and then I'm going to finish and do a few rotations into internal rotation. All right, and then I may want to hold this last position, and I can oscillate here a bit. But the idea is you're basically just going through the same motion you would normally go through at the end of the swing. I can make it a little bit more dynamic where I come up and into it, but I just want to really get into that position. I'm keeping my foot grounded and then spinning the back leg so that I finish with my pelvis forward. All right, and the band helps me get more motion than I otherwise would get. All right, so it's very specific to the motion that you're going to need for the golf swing. And then after doing that for, I could do 10 reps, I could do 20, I could do two minutes. It really depends on the time you have. And it, um, just you want to make sure that you're doing a, an assessment afterwards. And if you feel like you've made change, so it feels definitely freer, I don't have that same type of torque in my knee, then you know it's, it's worth, especially right before playing. All right, so that's the downswing leg, hip internal rotation. I'll be back for part three where we'll look at the lead arm.